What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Drums and Drams Whiskey Review. My name is Cameron and today we have another episode of Quick Sips. Now today's episode is going to feature a very special and very expensive whiskey. It is the Rabbit Hole Founders Collection 15 year Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey finished in Japanese Mizunara oak casks. We'll talk about the, uh, the specs of this particular whiskey in just a second, kind of break all of that down. But before I do, I just wanted to say thank you to Alex H for sending this sample along. I wanted to let you all know very quickly that I only have half an ounce of this, which I do not blame Alex for one bit because this bottle is ridiculously expensive. I just wanted to bring this up because sometimes I'm able to go back and reshoot a quick sip if it didn't quite go the way I wanted. In this case, uh, you know, I don't get any do-overs on this one. We're gonna live with whatever happens from this point forward. So now let's talk very quickly about what is going on with this particular uh, this particular release from Rabbit Hole. It's a 15 year age stated product. It actually spent an additional full year finishing in those uh, Mizunara oak casks. So I guess we get 15 plus one if you wanna kinda think of it that way. In terms of ABV, this is 57.1% or 114.2 proof. Mash bill for this is undisclosed. And the whiskey here is, is not from Rabbit Hole, right? Rabbit Hole is a fairly young company and they don't have any 15 year product ready at this point. It is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Uh, it is stated as such. So it comes from somewhere in Kentucky. I have an idea of where that might be, but I'll wait and taste this thing before I you know, come to any conclusions about that. The big kicker here with this bottle, as I've kind of alluded to already, is the price. The SRP of this release is $1,500, all right? So that's not secondary. That is off the shelf, it's 1,500 bucks. Because of that, there really is no secondary value for this. At this point, it still collects dust on some shelves because that while it is a very limited release, only 1,403 bottles, it's just so expensive that it's you know, it's just cost prohibitive. People are not picking this thing up and chasing this thing down at this point. And I just wanna say before I nose and taste this, no matter what happens, this could be God's gift to earth. Now it's just too expensive. And there's no reason that a company like Rabbit Hole should release a product at this price point, in my opinion. Before I go on any more tirades here, let's just go ahead and nose this thing and check it out. So the first impression I get from this whiskey is pie crust, nutmeg, cinnamon, maybe some maple in here, lots of brown sugars, very much a pie crust forward uh, nose, pretty darn spicy as well. Nice kind of rich chocolatey, dark chocolate kind of note. Sometimes my wife will heat up chocolate in the microwave, right, and melt the chocolate and kind of dip whatever into that. That smell of like melted chocolate in the microwave, I'm getting that kind of thick, syrupy, chocolate drizzle uh, quality on the nose here. Really nice oak presence that's well integrated. It's a little funky, a little musty, but not overdone. Very well integrated into, again, that pie crust, that chocolate kind of note. It's, a, it's an enjoyable nose, although it's tending just, you know, it's a little spicy, maybe a little too spicy and not quite sweet enough. Maybe that's just a subjective thing that I'm hoping for, but it's worth calling out. I would say the one thing that this whiskey lacks is a definitive kind of fruity character. If I had to try to pull a fruit note out of this, I might say like apricot or peach, something along those lines, but there's not like a strong red fruit note or, or dark fruit or anything like that. It's very much tending towards kind of a Knob Creek profile, Knob Creek 15. If you, if you are familiar with that, or maybe even some of the Knob Creek 15 year store picks. That's kind of what this thing smells like on the nose. All right, let's taste it, cheers. The nose does not lie on this one. This is a very spicy whiskey, brown sugars, nutmegs, kind of heavy cinnamon on here. Not cinnamon red hot, it's not like a cheap cinnamon, but a very aromatic kind of cinnamon on the palate. Wow, but it is thick and viscous as well. And, and you know, I have to appreciate that from an old whiskey. As we get into the finish here, starting to get a lot more barrel char, which is going along with those sort of chocolate notes I called out on the nose. Definitely a leathery and tobacco kind of quality. So first sip, good drinking experience, very spicy, but I'm not blown away by this. And again, at this price point, I am expecting to be absolutely floored 
and I just don't know that I am with this whiskey at this point. So let's go ahead and go in for a second sip now. I might be getting into a little bit more of a fruity quality now, now that my palate has acclimated to all of that spice. I'm getting maybe a little bit of a lemon note. Yeah, something definitely kind of citrusy about this. And I'm gonna double down on that, that apricot kind of quality. It's really kind of like caramel drizzled apricots or something. I don't know if I've ever had caramel drizzled apricots, but that's kind of what it's reminding me of. Or maybe honey even, maybe a little bit of like a dark honey in there. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I think this is probably that 15 year old mystery mash bill, the 78.5% corn that was floating around there for a year or two, which is presumably coming from Jim Beam. This basically tastes like a 15 year Knob Creek store pick with something else in there. And I think that's probably the Mizanara Oak influence. This is more than 10 times the price or maybe even 20 times the price of one of those 15 year Knob Creek picks. It's a good whiskey and it has hallmarks of very highly aged Kentucky bourbon, but come on, 1500 bucks for this. I I'm gonna do one more sip. I'm gonna kill this thing. Uh, thank you, Alex, again, for sending this along. Now, let me just go in for a final sip. Yeah. All right. Well, look, good whiskey. Glad I had the chance to try it. To me, if I had to price this out, this is like a $100 bottle, not $1,500 bottle. Who is this whiskey for? Basically, collectors. You know, this is a nice shelf piece. You gotta wanna spend a lot of money, you know, on a bottle. Otherwise, there's no reason to even think about picking this thing up. The few that, you know, might be still hanging around on some shelves out there. Who is this not for bargain whiskey hunters? Any whiskey enthusiast that is looking for a good deal? Not for you. So based on, you know, everything I've said up to this point, can I recommend this whiskey? Uh, no. Absolutely not. I'm somewhat offended that, you know, Rabbit Hole came out with this. To be honest with you guys, last summer I spent a day at Rabbit Hole with Adam Edwards, um, who, who works there, and it was a fantastic experience. Like, top to bottom, super cool facility. I love the vibe. Adam was so hospitable, and it was a great time. And I even have, like, uh, a video I need to release from that. I have a great conversation. We sat down. I did sort of an interview and tasted through their whiskeys. That happened right before my channel, you know, went away for a while. I took a break, and I haven't quite gotten it back up to speed yet. And I need to go back and edit and release that video. So, Adam, if you're watching this, I do apologize. I do hate the fact that I'm going to rag on this whiskey for the price point and everything like that. But it kind of is what it is. Before I get off of here, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, drop me a comment if you've tried this whiskey. I'd be curious to know what you guys thought if you had the opportunity to try this. Thanks again to Alex for sending this sample along. I would say cheers and finish off with a sip, but I don't have any of this left. So cheers to all of you. Go buy yourself a Knob Creek pick and pass up this $1,500 bottle. I'll see you next time here on Drums and Drams. <laughs>